Dakatanga kula interested in mine from 1980s. The show na muno mchungwe tu illegal mine. Saka ndaka banda we ni interested uta kumu na gaita mine mchini itasi. Saka ndaka banda zoe register mbo di woyu 1988. The show yungo chakarabo deposit. She pamsuro this is Jombe, Midlands province, the gold capital of Zimbabwe. Statistics show that 150,000 women and children are directly involved in mining, most illegally. Some women have however risen to the challenge and formally ventured into gold mining, like 73-year-old Tracy. And I to pinda pa sindi chito shanda na ola yiku kumashafti kwa nanchi kuzi ayuti kwa yivene gold range enje magudai. And I to pinda muka atindi chino maka. This is gold ore. The search for it has resulted in the loss of so many lives as people try to get it. One of the challenges that Trace is facing at a mine are illegal gold panels. The main shaft at that day, stand a passport in the middle of the pillar, and the main illegal miners. So, put out the whole entire state by one. That was Edward, Trace's manager. Miners have to go down for more than 10 meters in search of gold, exposing them to collapsing shafts. Land degradation is high as no effort is made to rehabilitate the land. Closed companies mean that mining is now a livelihood issue, and yet women are faced with a harsh mining environment. What do women organizations have to say about this? Let's take a listen. Women have got the mines, but they are lying idle, and the mines are registered in the animals. So we are saying it's the way of empowering the women, let's go into mining on condition that is done properly. Uh, we have what we call Women Development Fund. It's a fund that is given to women as loans, women only, and they repay. Indeed, women need loans to break forth in a male-dominated field, but how many ordinary women are able to access these loans? Statistics from the Ministry of Mines show that 70% of the rural population is into gold mining and 30% of them are women and children. The industry itself is harsh. Added to this is the blunted disregard for women's rights and cases of abuse, not forgetting the stigma that society itself attaches to women in mining. Because of all this, some women are sticking to just getting rubble. But Tracy has broken down the norm. And I discourage one among the Ah, <laughs> she